In this example, I'm using an aerial photo of a city. Import the file in Blender and set the location and rotation keyframe for the camera in case you accidentally move it. If you want, you can adjust the opacity of the background image. In wireframe mode, move the cube's faces to match the building. Duplicate the cube with Shift-T and then press Shift-Z so you can move it along only the X and Y axes. Once you've got a cube for every building, you can fine-tune them to match the photo better. Subdivide everything until you've got an even distribution of faces. This is necessary for the texture to appear correctly. Give the cubes a material and as the texture use the photograph. Then select all in edit mode and press U project from view. If you like this tip, you'll also like the Blender Secrets ebook. With more than a thousand pages and more on the way. By clicking on a topic in the index, you are transported to the relevant pages. And clicking on the link at the bottom of the page takes you back to the index of 400 plus topics. To see the corresponding video on a topic, simply click on the topic title. Updates are always free for customers, both on Gumroad and Blender Market.